Remember, while the world is watching, uh, India has also reacted. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said, uh, we stand in solidarity with Israel and against the terrorist attacks. Joining me now is Major General Gigi Devedi. He's a war veteran. He's a strategist and uh, has enough expertise on international relations. And uh, when you watch the terror assault, Major General Devedi, of this nature, the manner in which young women soaked in blood are taken hostages, uh, women are killed and paraded amid religious slogans, uh, there are children who are being killed, families that have been just wiped off. Uh, and, of course, the world is reacting. What do you think India's stance should be at this moment? Should we currently wait and watch? We have had uh, friendly relations with both Palestine and Israel. Is it something that you see as a developing situation in the next few days? Well, Pooja, all I can say at this moment uh, is the Israel movement of hmm. Israel has been invaded. And this aggression, which is brazen aggression by Hamas, which is a terrorist organization, has a reputation of being absolutely horrendous. And uh, what we're seeing are the actual, the, uh, the way the terrorist organization operates. The, what is the terrorist organization? Basically, tools and techniques. They take surprise as a major weapon, attack the softest of the softer target, and then take hostages and exploit them for bargaining and, uh, of course, as a tool to ensure that there is a degree of, uh, you know, terror that faces uh, with these civilians. Now, the point that I'm trying to make is that as a student of West Asia, I think Israel faced a similar situation mm. 50 years back mm. when uh, Egypt and Syria on 6th October, on the day of yes. Yom Kippur, they attacked and Israel was on the back foot. Mm. But the point is, Israel as a nation has tremendous resilience yes. to come back. And that's what we are seeing, that they absorbed the initial okay. shock, they stabilized the situation, and now they are on the offensive. Now, you asked me a very particular question as to what India should do. India's very simple and straightforward stance is that we condemn terrorists. And we are the victim of terrorism, and we have raised the voice that all the global forum, that terrorism as a tool cannot be accepted in a civil society. And, and, so and that's the that's the clear statement that came in from Indian Prime Minister as well. A clear shift and trying not to do any kind of balancing, but saying that is it at least on terror attacks that was inflicted on civilians. I appreciate you joining us, Major General Gigi Devedi, on uh, what you have to say about how the world is also watching on this. And I would like to also go back to Gaurav Savant, who's joining us us from on the ground but uh, as we are trying to ensure that he is at a location which is safe enough to be now speaking to us I'm also joined by Yeshua he's an Israeli journalist he's also joining me right now to give us a perspective uh, where are you right now Yeshua what is the current status uh, uh, around you you're in the south of Israel where the attack had taken place yes so um, the first thing that it is clear that the IDF is doing is getting rid of all the terrorists that are in Israel, Israeli territory. So there's still a large gun battle going on in Bayeri. Other than that, I believe the vast majority, I don't know if there are any other active uh, arenas of uh, battling, but um, the damage has already been done. There have been, uh, we are now counting 600 people dead in this attack, including uh, senior military commanders, um, dozens, uh, an un unstated amount of captives and hostage hostages uh, shamefully, these are these are uh, elderly women, young women with two-year-olds and four-year-old babies, um, teenage girls. Uh, a senile elderly woman was kept was taken as well. So um, this is, you know, I, I would reference if I was uh, speaking to the Indian audience, I would reference you know a raid from uh, uh, Mahmoud Razmi or uh, Muhammad Gori or something like that. Uh, this was um, devastation, uh, horrific uh, violence, and uh, at this point. Uh, the IDF is amassing tens of thousands of troops along the border and a counterattack will come and it's a question of when and what its objectives will be. All right, Yesha, thank you so much for joining us with uh, the ground update coming in from uh, the south of Israel where the attack has taken place.